And Gerald Salente, when he saw our report, he's been all over the news giving his insight and analysis on it, the top trends forecaster, editor of the Trends Journal. And, then, of course, he comes on every month or so. We appreciate his time and insight. And he just kept explaining what QE Unlimited would do. And he predicted they would continue, just like Peter Schiff did, QE Unlimited, because, well, they can't do anything else. I mean, we're in trouble if we do. We're in trouble if we don't. And so the bankers are going to continue it because it actually helps them. It just hurts us. So we're going to get his take on where we are, then shift gears into the shutdown itself, uh, the, the weenification of the, of the men in this country, and where he thinks this whole, whole situation is going. Obamacare, the giant scam. Uh, Schwarzenegger saying he wants to be president. I mean, the son of an SS officer. Why not? We don't know where Obama comes from. I mean, the Twilight Zone-ness, if this wasn't real, it would be very, very entertaining. So, Gerald, thank you so much for coming on with us. Oh, my pleasure. Thanks for having me back, Alex. Where do you want to start? With the whole chase situation? Yeah, why not? Uh, <laughs> you're going to have to chase them for your money. That's what's coming down. And you know that in our Trends Journal, we've been warning about this now going on the better part of uh, two years, that there would be a bank holiday. And we had that quote. We had that quote from um, uh, Joe Big Mouth Biden as he was campaigning in New Jersey for John the Slime Corzine when he was running for re-election of governor. We know they're discussing holidays. He said we may have to have a holiday. That's right. That was the first thing that Biden said that the Obama transition team was discussing, whether or not to have a bank holiday. The video's there. It's for everyone to hear. So now... As we're looking at this, and you cleared it, made it very clear that this tapering process is going to have to happen at some point. They don't know what to do. The only reason that the economy is moving along at any pace at all is because of the record low interest rates. And when interest rates go up, the economy goes down. As I've mentioned, I bought one of these historic buildings. I have got a 15-year locked in in March at 2.85%. In reality, that's lower than the inflation rate. So when you're looking around the world, whether it's China, whether it's the EU, whether it's the USSA, they're all devaluing their currencies and flooding the market with it. So now we go back to the banking issue. We saw with this fear and hysteria, another day of you know DC drama, bringing us to the Ed Jovi here of whether or not they were going to raise the debt ceiling. You saw what the banks were saying. So people could say, oh, I knew they weren't going to do anything. It was, yeah, you should have asked Jamie Dimon. You should have asked Christine Lagarde from the IMF. You should have asked the World Bank. You should have asked the head of Deutsche Bank. All of the banks were all making provisions in case the United States did not raise that debt ceiling. There's fear and hysteria running through the entire global financial community because as everybody knows, all they did was postpone the inevitable. They're going to keep the government agencies open only to January 15th and the borrowing authority to February 7th. So they've done nothing. And, and I want to, again, before I get to the, the, the bank issue, because it's all connected, I kept saying over and over again on your show, in Trends in the News, in the Trends Journal, they would not do tapering, they won't do anything until after the Christmas holidays. Retail sales already stink. You look at the numbers coming in, they're way down. And by the way, Obamacare is going to make it worse because people are now going to be forced to buy medical insurance from private corporations. And you saw what the tax hike did just on payroll taxes, even though Obama promised that they wouldn't raise taxes during the elections. That's hurt retail sales. The Obamacare is going to hurt retail sales. They could not afford to hurt retail sales by bringing this, this, this drama out any longer or announcing that they were going to eventually have to raise interest rates, going back to the banks. What happened in Cyprus earlier this year, in the spring, 
as I said, was the canary in the mine shaft. They're doing the same exact thing by telling people that they only can get $50,000 a month out of their account. Hey, you have your money, but you're not going to get it until we tell you when you can take it out. That's what they did in Cyprus. And as I've also said, they're going to come up with a bank holiday. The reason being, you mentioned the debt at 16.7 trillion plus, 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 however you add it up with the entitlements, the pension programs, and on and on. So how are they going to get us out of this debt? Simply by devaluing the dollar. So when they call a bank holiday, they'll do it the same way that FDR did it, but only a little bit different. The language changes, the scheme's the same. Back in 33, they made you sell your gold for $20.62 an ounce because the dollar was pegged to gold, and that's what the bank runs were about. Oh, and by the way, it was a prelude to the closing of the banks. It happened in Michigan. Cyprus is the Michigan. So what happened was they closed the banks in, 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 in Michigan, they reopened them, and they saw how it would play out. Okay, so now they forced the people to turn in their gold bullion, gold coins, gold certificates at 2062. After the criminal operation, the Federal Reserve got all the dough in, using FDR as the front man, they repegged the price of gold to $35 an ounce which means that they devalue the currency, you lost 70% of your purchasing power. You go back to the Great Depression, you come to the Great Recession, nothing has changed. And undoubtedly, they run the same plays over and over again. Uh, in my article uh, that was on DrudgeReport.com yesterday, my update to Paul Watson's article that got top linked on there, I broke down historically that it's all three. They're going to do bail-ins, Obamacare is a bail-in to the insurance companies and the government, uh, it's not meant to work. They're going to fine people 5000 a year. Uh, they're going to devalue the currency. They're going to uh, basically do bail-ins. They are going to gang rape us up one side and down the other financially and hold us hostage, just like they've done all the other countries. It's the same gang, as you've said, demanding you do this or we'll make all the pension funds worthless. And all the yuppies will say, OK, go ahead and do it. Go ahead and take part of it. Just don't take it all. And then they'll come back a few years later and take more, more, more till we have nothing. They're experts at this psychologically. So how do we wake people up and stop them? Well, yeah, I mean, you're waking them up and I'm waking up, but the people have to wake up. And as you mentioned the, mentioned the yuppies, you know, I have a line that, you know, liberals are liars. You can show them that everything Obama and everything that they believe in has not happened and Obama backtracked on it. And they'll make an excuse, just like they make an excuse for Obamacare. I mean, this is a corporate scheme. It's a way that businesses and governments don't have to, no, no longer have to carry insurance policies for the people that work for them. And we're being, it's, it's fascism, by the way. It's the merger of state and corporate power. That's right. It's, it's being, we're being forced to buy our insurance from a private corporation. I'll tell you what, hold that thought there, Gerald. We're going to come back to you and continue with what you're predicting in the next year. What's scaring me is all the experts that continue to be right that I respect. We're already in a collapse, folks, but they say by the middle of next year, they expect it all to really accelerate. We're going to see if Gerald concurs with that and get more of his trends straight ahead. As we saw in Katrina, and as we are watching now in New York and New Jersey, the federal government can't and won't help you in a crisis. FEMA ran out of water and MREs in days. Electricity is still off to over one million people. The Red Cross, who is quick to beg for money, is now slow to react. Don't put it off any longer. Get prepared today. While you're on InfoWarsShop.com, check out these other great preparedness items. The Aquapod Kit lets you store up to 65 gallons of water in your bathtub. The Pocket Socket provides you with manual electricity for small electronics like your cell phone. The Life Straw is great for your bug out bag. And check out our complete line of inner food products for great tasting and nutritionally dense foods that have a great shelf life. If you are looking to secure your home in a crisis, you can order Strategic Relocations, the film, a great companion to the book Strategic Relocations, third edition, and The Secure Home by Joel Skousen. 
When the time to perform arrives, the time to prepare has already passed. Get prepared now, so if a crisis strikes your home, you and your family will be secure. Go to InfoWarsShop.com. Your phone calls at 800-259-9231. Alex Jones here, and I want to tell you about a longtime friend of the show, My Patriot Supply. As you might remember, this is the company that stood up to the DHS and exposed FEMA's secret plan to begin hoarding emergency survival food. It has always been my belief that it's key to stand behind companies who share the same values as their fellow patriots. My Patriot Supply brings us their exclusive Patriot Pantry brand, along with many other fine preparedness products. I personally store and use their high quality products. It tastes great and it's easy to store for up to 25 years. For a limited time, you can save $50 instantly on a four week supply of food, along with other special offers. Visit mypatriotsupply.com forward slash Alex today. With the new world order making rapid advances on every front, it is essential to prepare with My Patriot Supply today. To thank you for being a loyal listener, we have a limited time freebie offer for you. Claim your free heirloom tomato seeds, just pay shipping, right now at 123freeseeds.com. These aren't ordinary seeds. These are heirloom, non-genetically modified super seeds that are open pollinated and can be grown, harvested, and replanted endlessly. These survival seeds are actually more valuable than gold in a crisis. Go to 123freeseeds.com and you can get an airtight storage packet of 150 super seeds free while supplies last to say thank you for being a loyal listener. First come, first served. Just cover shipping. Go to 123freeseeds.com now to see if your free heirloom seeds are still available. That's 123freeseeds.com. Great news, pure water lovers. BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com has a special discount offer for all GCN listeners. You can't do better than a Big Berkey for economy. For only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. There's none better than a Big Berkey for emergency preparedness as a backup water source. And you just can't beat a Big Berkey to remove dangerous chlorine, all types of fluoride, pathogenic bacteria, cysts, parasites, and unhealthy viruses products from municipal water. Berkey water filter systems are even powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. For the gold standard in water filters, get a Big Berkey at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And all GCN listeners get 5% off all ceramic filter systems. For details, call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey water filters for the love of clean water. You know about RVs, you've heard about bunkers, but surviving is not recreation, and man wasn't made to live underground. Introducing Survivalist Camps, the ultimate fully functional off-the-grid survival bug-out house that's mobile, well-equipped, and custom-built to outlast any other RV or trailer. Go to survivalistcamps.com to learn more. That's survivalistcamps.com, providing your basic needs to survive. Survivalistcamps.com. That's the sound of a 44 Magnum and Trauma Max. A high-tech hybrid Kevlar bulletproof vest from InfidelBodyArmor.com will stop it and most pistol rounds. Trauma Max is a major breakthrough in pistol-rated body armor. And prices start at just $170 per insert. More protection, more stopping power, more mobility. And it weighs less than 5 pounds. Get details at InfidelBodyArmor.com. That's I-N-F-I-D-E-L BodyArmor.com. You know, for folks that are tuning in for the first time saying, why would government and mega corporations want to do things so horrible? Why would they want to wreck the economy? Because their business is consolidating the economy. They see competition as a sin. 
they see you having your own farmer's market, your own local business is bad. They openly talk about vertical integration. And they want you living like folks do at Foxconn Apple factories in China that is beyond slavery. It is forced drugging, forced abortions, uh, suicide nets, mobile execution vans, and the robots are being delivered to replace them. This is an anti-human worldview, and I want to get more into that with Gerald Salente of the Trends Journal, trendsresearch.com. We have links to it up on infowars.com. Gerald, this is a short segment, long segment coming up, as you know, but let me ask you this question. Uh, because you got cut off, I want you to finish your point about the merger of the state and, and, and major corporations being fascism. But then I want you to talk about the state of the world itself and where you see things going into the future uh, with the establishment acting like they don't even care if we know that they run Al-Qaeda, that they run white slavery, that they run the drugs. I mean, everything I talked about 16, 17 years ago and got attacked for is now really passe. And I just, it's, it's, it's surreal to see the most hardcore stuff that we knew was happening now being mainstream news, but no one gets in trouble when Wells Fargo gets caught with hundreds of billions of drug money. Well, exactly. And, and you, as you were saying, you know, it's, it's all these multinationals, vertical integration. And the, there's this new Asian trade pact that they're negotiating as well that will turn more of America into slave landia as well, where people could get those part-time jobs, have no insurance, no benefits, and not enough money to live on. And then they'll have to go on to food stamps and other assistance. So we'll be subsidizing those corporations as we already do with McDonald's, the other fast food chains, and Walmarts. And as I, I've been saying, this is not globalization, it's multinationalization. There are no mom and pops anymore. The stores are all closing down. As you pointed out, they make it very difficult for the small farmers, the farmers' markets, everything. They have the highest and harshest, uh, uh, they impose the harshest regulations and terms on us. I believe it was your site that I went to uh, today or yesterday with the, what, four-year-old kid that brought a toy gun into school? I mean, those are the people they crack down on. So in looking by, in going back to this as well, when I talk about fascism, four words, four words prove it. Too big to fail. In capitalism, there's no such thing. In fascism, there is. They're taking our money and giving it to the big banks, which goes back to the first question about the J.P. Morgan Chase crime syndicate. How about this? They have paid, Alex, almost $16 billion worth of fines and litigations, legal fees and litigation, since 2009. Just this week, they got slapped with another $100 million. So I'm starting to think about this. I know that they make a lot of dough. But even in the real world, $16 billion is a lot of cash. And these banks, as I see it, don't have the money. And you look at, yeah, you pick up the paper. Here we go. Financial Times, city group hit by slowdown in bond trading. You look at Bank of America's numbers coming out right after that, same thing. You look at one bank after another. You look at all the people they're laying off because all the refis and new applications for mortgages are going down. They don't have the money. And you well know my experience. So you ask me, what could the people do? Here's the deal. I talked about John the Slime Corzine. The SOB who stole my money took it out of my segregated account. I wasn't a trader. I was using the money to purchase hard And you assets. accurately predicted that he would not get in trouble. Two years later, no criminal charges. No criminal charges. He's probably holding fundraisers for some other Democrat. Then you got right over, you saw what happened in Cyprus, and I told the stories of oh, oh, what happened to me on 9-11 when I tried to cash out my CDs. I couldn't because... Wall Street was closed, and CDs of financial instruments traded on Wall Street. But don't worry, Mr. Salenti, we can assure you that Fleet Bank fully banks. Yeah, Fleet Bank is out of business now. One of the big guys bought them out. Number two. Number three, I went to the banks when financial situations were getting a little scary, and I wrote about it in the Trends Journal with HSBC and Key Bank. How they busted my chops and wouldn't let me have my money until I had to put on a scene. And I'm saying to everybody out there, if you don't have your money in your pocket, it's not yours, Jack.
That's right. Stay there. I want to break down and tell the story of what happened to you because I've sent my wife to try to get a couple thousand out. And, she, and literally, even at a local bank, they traded her like a criminal. And it was a business account. We had quite a bit of money in there. And she said, really? This is how you're going to treat me? I mean, this the, the criminals have taken over. We'll be right back. Stay with us. Everything we said came true. Everything we've done has been right. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back live. Thank you for joining us on this Friday edition. We're going back to Gerald Salente and then your phone calls on different subjects that he can comment on here in a moment. I also want to ask Gerald what other important trends he's uh, looking at and what he sees happening by the middle of next year. So many other experts are saying it's going to get a lot worse before it gets better and uh, solutions and ways to you know take action against this. I think it's key for everybody to become activist and journalist and to resist the corporate press. We're going to talk about that in a moment and with a caller who wants to talk to Gerald who called in earlier I put on hold because his point was so interesting I wanted to get Gerald's take on it. But first off we're listener supported. We're not like NPR or MSNBC that gets bailout money or stimulus money or tax money. We're supported by our AM and FM affiliates carrying us, uh, our local sponsors on those stations who we thank and who people should support, our national sponsors are mainly mom and pop institutions and the products that we sell at InfoWarsStore.com. The books, the videos, the super high quality supplements at InfoWarsStore.com. Uh, undoubtedly unique, extremely powerful, really special, unique, nascent iodine that Dr. Group talked about yesterday that we're unable to find anywhere else, so it's sold out. You can pre-order so that more is coming in the next few weeks if you want to be first in line to get it. InfoWarsStore.com. And we have the best water filtration systems the stainless steel uh, systems, the Pro One systems that I research and I use personally. We have those at the lowest prices with promo code WATER. You get an additional 10% off the already lowest prices at InfoWarsStore.com. And you can ask about all the specials or ask any other questions uh, about different products, books, films, uh, all the Patriot apparel to help spread the word and meet like-minded liberty lovers, all at InfoWarsStore.com. You can find the magazine to subscribe or give a gift subscription or buy it in bulk at cost, the InfoWars magazine. It's all about taking action. The non-GMO heirloom seed uh, center, largest selection out there we found, the lowest price, the InfoWars seed center, InfoWarsStore.com, or call 888-253-3139. We're also about being citizen journalists, so we have the, again, check it out, lowest price on high def with an 8 gig uh, thumb drive that comes free with it or memory stick. We've added that the lowest price. The other competitors are 150 bucks on average. We have the same system for 99.95. It hangs over your uh, rear view mirror. Looks just like a, a regular rear view mirror, but actually has camera, high def camera and a high def TV screen. Uh, when you hit a button that pops up and turns the mirror into a TV screen, just simply amazing. 99.95. We sold out of these a few weeks ago when the first shipment came in. We've got more in, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely essential to protect yourself from bureaucrats, you name it, and document everything. So get the hidden dash cam today. Infowars store.com or 888-253-3139. And Infowars, the nightly news, prisonplanet.tv. It's a platform for all these other great people who have their own platforms, but synergistically we work together like Gerald Salente and Ron Paul and Jesse Ventura uh, and Ben Schwan and just countless other great people. It's a good thing there's not just Gerald Salente. It's a great thing that, you know, that, that there's not just Alex Jones. It's a great thing that there's not just people like Rand Paul speaking out. There's more and more libertarians, classical liberals, true uh, conservatives, constitutionalists, just freedom lovers getting past the labels we're anti-corruption, we're anti-globalist mafia, we're calling for a return to sanity, to local community, uh, not the fake globalism, the multinationalism, but the true, you know, true power of nationalism working together for real globalism, for real free trade, not fake rig trade. So be sure and go to trendsjournal.com or trendsresearch.com and subscribe as well and sign up for their free uh, alerts as well. Uh, because it's such an invaluable magazine and it's something the average folks can read but it's also real brainy so whether your br brother's an auto mechanic or a brain surgeon uh, the trends journal and i suggest you get back issues they've got very affordably when they're not sold out to you know give them back issues from a few years ago it's like getting in a time machine 
uh, you know, reading it back then and now it actually happened, that's what really seems to wake people up that I've predicted so much, that Gerald has predicted so much. And, and so now that people are listening to us, because our credibility is at all-time highs, it's time now more than ever to warn people about what's coming and to shape the future battle space politically so folks know exactly what we're facing. Gerald, other points, trends you want to get into, and then I want to take some phone calls. Yes, I, you know, I wanted to follow up on what you, you said earlier about you know, what people could do. How can they wake up? You know, what is it going to take? I would suggest that everyone, it's, you know, it's on YouTube, go to uh, Harry Reid's uh, speech on the floor of the Senate on October 16th, quote, the compromise we reached will provide our economy with the stability it desperately needs. All right? How about that for a line of BS? If that one doesn't work, how about this? I look forward to working with my colleagues on both sides of the great capital that passed this remarkable agreement. Remarkable? Remarkably stupid, remarkably nothing, but the prostitutes let him get away with it, which will protect the long-term health of our economy. Hey, Harry, you're a liar. Could anybody say that? Could any prostitute challenge him? This didn't do anything to help our economy. All it did was reopen the government and raise the debt ceiling. But they can get away with it because it even gets dumber than that and more insulting and avert a default on our nation's debt and allow us to set the foundation for economic expansion. Okay, Junior, oh, I should say senior. You're the senior senator. How is it going to help promote our economic expansion? You know why? Because now Congress must return to its most important job. And you know what that is, Alex? You know, everybody out there knows. Everybody knows because when you get up in the morning, this is the first thing you're so happy about for having voted for a Republican or a Democratic gang member. Fostering economic growth and protecting middle class families. How's that, boys and girls? So when people say what to do, why don't you wake up? Why don't you become a man or a woman and look at these little clowns shooting off their flabbery mouths, spewing out a bunch of baloney that you couldn't sell at a bar? If you talk like this anywhere to anybody that you ever knew, they would tell you to get lost, but not the American people. Salute the commander in chief. Applaud when your senators and congressmen show up. Don't forget to vote. Election day is right around the corner. Oh, and give money to support your Democratic and your, pol and your Republican criminal operations. That's what's going on. Until people grow up and get, maintain their courage, their dignity, their respect, and their integrity, Nothing is going to change because any self-respecting adult that hears McConnell, Reed, Boner, Ryan, one after another, and buys this baloney, they deserve what they get. And as for the international scene, the whole thing is collapsing. That's our forecast as well. Uh, we were saying by the second quarter of 2014, we expect the bottom to fall out. Is, or, or something to divert our attention as it falls out. Oh, look how quick America was ready to go to war against Syria. Our commander in chief, he was out there, right? He was beating the drum. But Gerald, isn't that super good news that, that they had the whole whore media, uh, both the major parties, but it was the libertarian kind of Tea Party folks that helped to a great extent stop that. This is the first time in 220 plus years the British said no. I mean, I think the fact that nuclear war was probably going to happen, most experts agreed, that the, even Dempsey, who's a warmonger, went and told Obama no. I see that as really positive. It is positive, and it's positive for the American people. But we have the sociopaths and psychopaths in control. They'll do anything. Pick up today's Financial Times. It's not in the American press. The Senate is calling for harsher sanctions against Iran.
You know, I mean, it just keeps going on and on. And they Israel just... could hit Iran any time, whether you love Iran or hate them. The point is, is it's preemptive. It all hell's going to break loose in the Strait of Hormuz, and it's going to be a great political diversion. I want to ask you one more question and go to calls. I don't want to hog you here, and folks want to ask questions or, or direct comments at you and see what you have to say. Again, Gerald Salenti is our guest. I'm Alex Jones. If you just joined us, uh, Gerald, look, I, I don't claim to be a tough guy. But if somebody hits me in the face, I'm going to hit them back. It's not even a courage thing. I'm going to attack somebody back. It's just it's just a default position. I mean, I have a chihuahua. If somebody kicks it, it's going to bite them. It's not an attack dog. But I look at the prostitutes, the, the, the term you coined, the dinosaur whores, the term I use, and I see them in hour-long press conferences never asking Obama about, hey, Obamacare doesn't work. When's that going to work? That would be the first question the press five years ago, six years ago would have asked. I see them being arrested, persecuted, and rolling over. In the old days, Nixon barely messed with some press, with some IRS stuff, and the whole media left and right turned against him. Where is the common sense that when a government bully messes with you, you all get together because your instinct is you're going to be a slave if you don't? Where is the instinct? I know where it is, but I want to get your take on this. Here's CBS. They heard a backfire of a car, so the SWAT team responded to the Louisiana... Uh, uh, situation and, and, and evacuated the school freaking out. Same thing happened in another state. Water supply at a major lake uh, in Seattle. Surveillance camera. Police saw a man with friends drinking beer at a picnic. There's multiple articles on this. You can go read them. He peed on the side. I mean, I just did that at the side of the ocean fishing at night. I, I, I peed in the ocean last two weeks ago. Oh, my fishing. God. Oh, my gosh. It was at midnight. I didn't want to go back to a porta potty a half mile away. I peed at midnight fishing, surf fishing, out uh. in the surf. But my point is they evacuated it and drained tens of millions of gallons, uh, saying it would take the surface urine away. When there's fish, there's sewage running off. It's this grandstanding. Here's another one. Here, th th this is just today. A man dumped his ashes. This is Breitbart. So they evacuated a whole area and a shopping mall because the ashes were so scary. Here's another one. They shut down a large area of San Francisco because of a, a paper bag on the side of the street yesterday. This is the type of hysteria where kids are seen playing with Nerf guns in their backyard and aren't aren't kicked out of school the police come and put them in handcuffs Gerald Salente this is mind control this isn't land of the cowards this is like weenie world like an absurdist joke or something this is why the press won't do anything we are the, how did we turn into planet weenie yeah first of all you are a tough guy and in, in, the, in the most manly sense, in the most masculine sense, you don't take anything and you don't give anything in terms of you don't give anybody a hard time. You just call it like you see it and you don't have to believe anybody and you just call it clean and you speak out. And as you said, if somebody pushes you, you'll punch them. Just like if you kick a dog, the dog's going to try to rip your leg off. And number two is that the, I believe it, it really happens in the schools. I mean, could you imagine, I mean, I was just thinking about this. You're going to send your kid to a school where they have police guards? Doesn't that tell you that something's wrong? And they keep teaching us to be submissive, not to fight back. And that's what, and you said it's weenie world. And then you see these cops that go berserk over nothing. And you know, want to, you know, as you, you said, they hear a, a, a car backfiring and they bring in the SWAT teams. And as you well know, you've been writing about it, I've been writing about it, it's the militarization of the United States. And again, as I see it, because of the grand scheme. And that is, these people may be stupid, the people running government, they're very shrewd. And they know, as we all know, that there's no way to solve the economic problems. Look, I saw it on your site. You were the first to report the mayhem that went on in Walmart when people couldn't cash in their food stamps. Multiply that by tens of millions. Multiply that a breakdown of society. Look what they did in Boston. Again, to me, that was a test. They closed down 100 square miles of Boston, stopped the trains from running between New York and Boston to hunt for a 19-year-old kid. So, 
again, look at America's most feared criminals of this last year. A 19-year-old kid, Snowden, and Bradley Manning. Now, there's three faces of disaster you never want to meet in a dark alley. So you can see how the society is being controlled because they don't want anyone to get out of line. But going back to the prostitutes, I'm going to have Zeke over here, Zeke West, my assistant. You said about, what would you call them, dinosaurs? Uh, Dinosaur media. Dinosaur media. Anthony Frieda. We have a weekly Frieda as part of the subscription. Wait till you see this one. He just did you a dinosaur piece. Oh, he, wow. Yeah, he, of course, you know, he's a fan of you. Yours as well, and writes for the and does illustrations for us, and um, so he just did a great piece, and, and Zeke will send it to you. But that's these again. Look at who these tough guys in the media are. Hey, Anderson Cooper. Whoa. Oh, oh, oh. You met him. You sat face to face with Piers Morgan. Ooh. Bob Costas. These guys. They're little boys. They're all. They're all. Look. Look at the facts. We'll get past that part of it. Look at the facts. Look who Obama has as his mouthpiece. James Carney. Where did Carney come from? Oh, Carnival Man Carney? Oh, he came from Time Magazine. Yeah, Obama has more people working with him from the major media than anybody recently in, in history. And as you also saw that latest release that came out, even from prostitutes like the Turlet Paper or Record, the New York Times, saying how difficult and how closed down. Oh, remember Obama was going to make everything transparent? Nothing goes through. Nothing goes through, and everybody gets shut down. Well, they down. now admit, even a New York Times uh, top person said it's the most, most deceptive, closed-door, control freak thing they've ever seen. Exactly. So, again, it's both the weenie and the control. Yeah, so they want us to be weenies while they're armed to the teeth and total tyrants. You got it. Are we choosing our own destiny, or has it been pre-selected for us? As we've moved through history, every great leader has had to understand the potential of information. Billions of dollars have been spent privately and publicly looking at how to tap into your psyche. From compulsory state education to the Hollywood media brainwashing machine, we are kept in perpetual bondage to the ideas that shape our actions. When somebody obscures that feedback loop between you observing and testing it out and verifying it. They can take total control of your awareness. All of this is happening so fast, you need to be ahead of the game. How to engineer the opinion of the American people so that they would not only endorse, but demand a war. Right oh, there's another one, another plane just hit. State of mind, because there's a war on for your mind. Get your copy of State of Mind, the movie at Infowars.com. And remember, every order at Infowarsstore.com receives a free citizen rulebook. Gerald Salente is our guest. I'm Alex Jones, your host. Ten ways the Obama train wreck is screwing the American people. Soaring cost, assaults on privacy, and the nanny state gone wild. Paul Watson's article just went up on prisonplanet.com. I know most of you as listeners know all this, but give this to your average person that's been conned. Gerald, I'll ask you at the end of the interview in about ten minutes, your take, your prediction on what will happen uh, with Obamacare. But mull that around in the back of your big brain and then uh, tell us what you think at the end of the interview here in about 10 minutes. Let's go to calls. This fellow called in earlier, and I put him on hold because he wanted to address the question to you. He has an idea for a, it's not a Kickstarter campaign. What's the name of the other thing? Indiegogo. He already does it in New Orleans to drive around with Liberty information with a uh, you know bicycle. I guess you could even charge folks to be carried on it, you know, that has the uh, TV sandwich board on the back. Uh, he, he has InfoWars material, my material, whatever it is. Whatever the small business is, whatever. Uh, I mean, this is a great idea for business, for politics. Uh, we're going to try to support this fellow. But my point is we need to get aggressive and all of us as individuals become media ourselves. And uh, go ahead, uh, Mike of New Orleans, uh, make your point in about 45 seconds for Gerald Salenta so he can comment on it. Yes, uh, Gazanich Paisan, you were okay, absolutely okay. right, uh, Mr. Salenti, uh, that it's getting the information to the people that don't know it. And that's why my project does just that. 
It's live streaming, internet access to the streets on two 51-inch screens. Solar panel being pulled by a motorized uh, electronic bike. Uh, so I can show your show. I can show Alex's show. I can show documentaries. I can do live interviews, uh, show pertinent news broadcasts, everything on the street right where the revolution is, right where it's needed, so we can reach people that normally would never, ever hear. And you were telling me earlier, it. it's, it's roving info-wagon and Indiegogo. Folks, go fund it right now. We need to see more of these around the country. You were telling me, you talked to colonels, NSA people, you're saying they're massively awakening right now. Oh, absolutely, Alex. I, three, uh, you were talking about Syria. Uh, three berets were walking down the street, and they stopped, and I, I asked them, I, I, excuse me, if you guys get uh, uh, called to Syria to fight on the side of Al-Qaeda, what are you going to do? They laughed, and they said, I thought you were going to ask us a serious question. We ain't going. That's the kind of stuff that needs to be seen. That needs to be filmed. People need to know that. Exactly. I God bless you, folks. Uh, give us an update. Shoot a YouTube video, brother. I want to see what you're doing. That's how you really get attention. Great job. We're going to break here in a few minutes for a final segment, Gerald, but this is a short segment. That's the type okay. of action we need, isn't it? It's brilliant, and it's unique. And that's what people say, you know, give me a solution. I don't have a solution. I'm only doing what I'm doing. I'm one guy. You're one guy. We come up with as many ideas as we can. That's what it takes. It takes the individual spirit to become creative. It's brilliant. Uh, 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 could you imagine 100,000 of those on the street? It'd be, it'd be over, and that's what you always talk about. The power of the renaissance of the individual, that's the American dream. Any, anybody that says they have all the answers, follow them as a con artist or nuts. Anybody that knows the real world says you're the answer, folks. Start thinking like that. That's right, and, and that's exactly at the renaissance, and this is the perfect example. It's creating your own future rather than letting someone else do it for you, because if you let them do it for you, you know how it's going to end up. You're not going to like Briefly, it. Briefly, tell us about the new Trends Journal coming out and how people get it. Well, you know, it's fit, and that's what, it's uh, 52 pages. It's all totally different, full color. And, of course, we do trends in the news every night. It's Trends Journal TV, the real news like your news. Many anthropologists and archaeologists believe that before man even discovered uh, the power to harness and use fire, we were involved in agrarian activities. That is, taking the seeds of plants and then replanting them to produce more. The very foundation of our modern civilization and human culture is centered around the planting and cultivation of edible plants. Here are some of the amazing deals at InfoWars Seed Center at InfoWarsShop.com. The Survival Seed Vault by My Patriot Supply features only the finest survival heirloom seeds for a robust and hardy garden, even in the toughest times. We also have starter varieties of the deluxe seed packages for fruit, salad, salsa, peppers, medical herbs, and more. Go to the InfoWars Seed Center at InfoWarsShop.com. And remember... The revolution against tyranny is growing. Many anthropologists. Let's jam in some calls here. Will in Connecticut. Uh, you're on the air with Gerald Salente. Go ahead. Oh, hey, how you doing, Alex? Gerald, big fans of yours. I uh, just wanted to say that I went into my local Chase Bank yesterday to, uh, to see what what's happening after I watched Anthony Gucciardi's report on the whole thing. I've been a longtime Chase customer, and uh, they called me. They really didn't know what was going on, as Anthony had uh, portrayed in his uh, in his piece there. But I just wanted to, to let you guys know and everybody else, I guess, that you know, it's, it doesn't seem like it's really any big deal because I have what's called a classic Chase checking account, and uh, those aren't being affected. It seems like uh, it... What, from what I understand, it's a way for Chase to just charge more fees and make more money. Sure, sure. Listen, listen. here's the spin they're putting out. It's just like Bank of America wanting to charge you $5 to use your debit card. The, notice they let the money come in with the wires not go out. This is for people that have big accounts or legacy accounts they're leaving alone now. But the big banking associations have said globally they're moving towards phasing out cash. That's the issue. But thank you. I want to get Gerald's take on that. Go ahead. Well, just look at the news. It just came out. 
The debt, the debt now, the, the country, they just added $300 billion. We're now over $17 trillion. And as I mentioned, the banks don't have the money. And I've, I've witnessed that firsthand as I tried getting it out. Well, look at how they call it a bail, a bail-in. Oh, we're going to take 40% of everybody's account to give it to foreign banks in Cyprus. It's no big deal. They call everything a no big deal. And, and as it may as well be true what they're saying that, oh, it doesn't affect anybody. These are the, these are the steps they take. They take incremental steps under the radar, if had it not been for people like you and others uh, that, um, that saw this coming. And they, they'll, then they just all of a sudden snap it on to us and say, oh, well, we had these laws in place already. So again, the debt ceiling is now, and look how, look how slimy those D.C. snakes and weasels are. Oh, you like to call them Republicans and Democrats, all you loyalists. How they waited till after this whole drama was over to announce, dun da 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 it's not 16.7 trillion, it's 17 trillion. Plus. Oh, now it's going to race up really quick. Yeah. And oh, and now they're, the Chinese are devaluing us. A country run by communists with suicide nets and execution vans. They, the, the communists, not their good people, but their government gets to now lecture us because the foreign banks have maneuvered us into this like, like we're Greece or like we're any of these countries. The, and, and, and notice with Greece, they went through all this too. They did the IMF World Bank bailout. They did the increased taxes and it wrecked them worse. And the IMF and World Bank said, we were wrong. We didn't know that would hurt you when their own internal documents said the, the, the restrictions they put on them are meant to wreck them more. Hey, Alex, pick up today's Financial Times. You know what one of the stories is? The Troika is great. A, great. a great term for the mafia. The European Commission, the IMF, the International Mafia Federation, and the, um, uh, who's, oh, the ECB, the European Central Bank, they just announced to Greece they need more austerity measures. <laughs> Just Kids are today. starving to death in the streets. Yeah, more they austerity. Mm -hmm. Keep giving it to the people. Leave them with nothing. It's slave landia worldwide. And and most of the money the Greece is paying is to foreign banks to bail them out. And then the, and then and then the head of the IMF doesn't work and is tax exempt. She says they should work seven days a week. More, more. Let them eat cake. Gerald Salente, thank you so much, my friend. Thank you. Now you can watch Alex Jones live at Infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the Infowars Nightly News, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happens. So check it out, Infowars.com forward slash show.